for 12 futurecast. Light winds here in early spring, late winter can make all the difference with how comfortable it feels outside and we have kept the winds much lighter today, making it a nice day to get out. Maybe walk around uh, outside Echo Lake and Pasco has partly sunny skies. We've got that hazy sun in the sky in Oakland Beach too. We will see more cloud stream in this afternoon and you know, just if say you have a couple of free hours tomorrow afternoon, Pretty nice day to get outdoors and maybe hit the links. The future cast for golfing on Wednesday, 11 a.m., 60 degrees by 3 in the afternoon, still in the middle 60s, and the winds will be from the southwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Outside right now, we're keeping things quiet, and it'll stay that way throughout the day today, Wednesday, and even into Thursday. Nothing severe on the way. Radar is quiet and no showers on uh, in the forecast for us wanted to show you this wider view of the temperature map because there's still a noticeable temperature difference between areas to our southwest and what we're experiencing here in southeastern New England. Notice Philly up to 70 now. Well, there's a warm front sitting just south of us. Once that front moves through and that'll happen this evening and tonight, we are going to unleash that near record high temperature that we are expecting for both Wednesday and Thursday. Today's not too shabby either up to 58 degrees by about three o'clock this afternoon, falling back through the 50s and into the 40s this evening. Late tonight, our temperatures will drop down to about 42 degrees with patchy fog possible by late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Now that'll be more of an issue near the coastline. It's a result of that warmer and more humid air coming over the relatively cooler ocean waters and it should thin out as we head through the mid and late morning hours of your Wednesday. So Tuesday again topping out today near 58 degrees down to about 42 overnight tonight. Upper 60s for the high on on Wednesday, coastal areas tomorrow, you're going to be about 10, maybe even 15 degrees cooler than inland spots with partly sunny skies. You're going to climb up and stay in the 50s. Keep in mind the water temperature is only 40 degrees. As for Thursday, I still have us close to 70 degrees. Very mild. Have the potential for a late day or nighttime shower. Temperatures on Thursday should be close to 60 at the coastline. Notice in that seven day future cast, I don't see any signs of a big time cool down. In fact, just the opposite temperatures look like they will stay very mild Friday and through the weekend. Now the warmest part of Friday may actually be the morning hours with the temperatures dropping into the 50s in the afternoon. Not only will the temperatures be warm this weekend, but another sign of spring daylight saving time beginning. We're going to spring forward one hour, which is going to push our sunset Sunday to almost seven o'clock in the evening. Now we're gonna have to watch towards the end of the day Sunday and even more so Monday for the potential for a few showers out there. And speaking of the shower threat on Thursday again, it's more towards the uh, evening and nighttime hours. So I do think we'll get plenty of hours in whether it's this afternoon, tomorrow or Thursday.